Welcome back. Well, there are lots of ways that you can beat the heat. Jump in the lake, sit in front of a fan, or hey, in our, our case, get crafty. Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us how to make net coolers. And man, it has been hot and muggy the past couple of days. And you say, yeah, it's cool now a little bit because it's raining, but it's still it's still pretty warm in people's houses if you don't have AC. It's really uncomfortable. And yeah. this craft actually was inspired by me just feeling really uncomfortable <laughs> this week. Hey, I, that, that doesn't sound good, yeah. Yeah, well, what you use for this is a secret ingredient here is a, I use a product called Waterkeep, but you okay. can find in the garden centers and some craft stores around. This is a product that you put in your potted plants so you don't have to water as much. Okay. So it's not really intended for crafting. It's made for keeping your plants wet. However, let me show you what happens here. And this is, we're going to make these neck coolers and I just want to show people while we're working. I'm going to just drop some water on here. And these sure. are just little crystals, and we'll see what happens. As yeah, as at first I thought it was rice. And no, was like, you would work, not want to eat this stuff. And no. these little crystals hold about four times their, you know, like, they can hold four times their weight in water. Okay. So, um, first thing you do to make a neck cooler is you cut just a four inch strip of fabric, and it can go across the whole width. You want to have at least 32 inches. Okay. So it can fit around your neck without right. choking you. Um, fold that in half. And then I kind of stitched ahead here. I, I just, like your cute little designs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I did um, is just folded down the edge to the wrong side on okay. both ends. Then I stitched along. So you're with left with a two-inch tube. And then you use this little turning tool. If you don't have one of these, you can get these in the craft supply store and Probably sewing stores. Cheap. Oh yeah, very cheap, and it's a miracle worker because you can be sitting there for a long time turning these right side out. <laughs> And okay. That's yeah, gonna... this, it pulls it through. And of course, on live TV, it never goes as smoothly as it should. Well, no, here. you only have 30 seconds to do yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I anticipated that that would be a problem, and I just kind of. You are up. so on top of it. Yeah. Jennifer. Well, you know, when things don't, plan A doesn't work, you gotta have a plan B. Right. Um, next thing you do with this right side out is press that, and we're gonna skip that. Okay. Now we're getting to the part where it actually gets fun here to make this. So you press that one. Press this one. Okay. It's open on both ends. What I like to do for the men. You can leave these just, you know, rectangular tubes, but the women, I think it's a little more girly to make a little point on the end here. A little, little more Yeah, so you can just make this so right across here. And you can do this part at the end if you really wanted to, but okay. I like to do this now. And then what I've done here is with a, I folded it in half, okay, and I made marks here. Okay. Halfway point, I used a water-soluble pen, so this will come out. And then Every three inches, inches away, okay. I made two more. So there's four packets here. So on the end that I closed, I'm going to stitch right across that first, the first um, packet here. And this is to hold the crystals in place. Right. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of these just, they're going to come out okay, and slide around. Left. Okay. What we'll do, and I have a step out here, another one. What we're going to do is put a quarter teaspoon. These are very loud. Oops, and not water. Crystals. Crystals first. In okay. Here. Okay, and just shake these down all the way. And what you're going to do is sew then the next packet every three inches. And you're okay. left with this. How much, how many crystals are you going to put in there? Like how many I do scoops? a quarter teaspoon in every packet. So okay, there's four so packets on here. Okay. Now if you want to put this in the water, just soak it in there and see what happens. As you can see, the crystals we had over here have really puffed up oh, quite yeah. a bit. And so you feel how that's getting kind of puffy there? Oh yeah, okay, so that's why you only put a little bit. Right, otherwise it will expand. So, and then what you do is you put these in the refrigerator. If you need it quickly, put it in the, in the freezer. freezer. But um, put that in the refrigerator and then you can tie it around. And it goes around your neck and it does really keep so you like cool. I also, when I run, you could, an option is to go like oh, this, yeah. go Karate Kid style. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I actually would take you up on that one. Yeah, no, yeah. and it, it just keeps you cool because I ran the other night and I didn't have these made. And let me just tell you, I came home and started making these. Oh, yeah, I, I bet. Like, this is it's ridiculous. unbearable. Yeah, real yeah. quick, what's your column this weekend? Column this weekend is about um, gables and barn quilts. And the, these quilts are made, this actually painted on plywood. How and they're made pretty. by sisters Sue Van Dis and Phyllis um, DeWeiss. And they do fantastic work. And they're kind of trying to start this trend in West Michigan. So in Sunday's Home and Garden section of the Grand Rapids Press, you can read their story. And these are big uh, in Iowa. I know Phyllis was inspired by a trip to Iowa. She saw these barn quilts. Cool. And it's been, um, I'd, I'd love to see more of these in West Michigan. So how these ladies cool are working are on it. Very nice. Real quick, how long do these last for? Um, you know, you have to, uh, I haven't worn one out yet. You know, okay. you've got to rinse it out though, of course, because you're sweating and it gets stinky. So it's not just a one time. 
time you No, today. no. Very nice. Jennifer, thanks for being here. Well, you can find more information on our website at WZZM13.com. Just click on those Take 5 links. Now, when we come back, we'll look at ways to keep your pets cool during the, our summer heat wave. But first, we're giving you one more chance to win passes to our sneak preview of The Sorcerer's Apprentice. It's